Hey guys, Big Flip here. This is my submission of the 21 Denver, Philly, and San Francisco after the fact of the first strike. Um, these were some coins that I acquired through trades or bought at my coin shop or whatever. I was basically after the Denver, and then I had like three Phillies and three San Francisco's that piggybacked in on this because I overslept on the Denver day that the Mint put these out. So I have not been in this box. I did get through the cardboard earlier, and then my dog started to bark. So I haven't been in this box. The one thing I, I am a little bit worried about is they did not send me my boxes my capsules back on these coins which if you're a purchaser of maybe a Denver at an incredible price tag you might want that stuff so I have to get in touch with them on that so here they are here's my paperwork well they sent the capsules they didn't send the boxes I don't understand that so I'll have to make a phone call tomorrow oh that's a heads up if you want to talk to PCGS May 8 o'clock mountain time 7 o'clock Pacific is um, the time that they start their phones. So make sure you get in there at exactly 8 o'clock. Then you won't be put on the wait list. If they say they're going to call you back, you're number 31 or something, um, my suggestion is just wait till the following day and call in first thing in the morning. Because I've done that, and though you're caller 31, you might only see them uh, get that call about 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So... Here's the coins that came back. <clears throat> Another thing was when I bring the coin out, I'm going to show you the comps on it. Pretty crazy numbers on the Denver. The Denver is an incredible, um, I don't know if they wrecked a bunch of coins or what it was, what drove it up, but uh, the numbers are crazy on that. So let's look at this one. Here's a peace dollar. Twenty one MS seventy. Another piece dollar twenty one MS seventy. Another piece dollar twenty one MS seventy. A Morgan Denver at a seventy. Morgan Denver at a 69. That's a bummer. That really is a bummer. But remember, I bought these after the fact, so anything could have happened to them. Here is a 21 Denver at an MS70. Here is a 100th anniversary 21 Philly. 21 Philly is, um, I have quite a few of those at a 70 already. Here is a San Francisco. That San Francisco is a 70, and then also this San Francisco is a 70. So it looks like I got three of the 21 Peace Dollar 100th Anniversary. I got two of the San Francisco 21. I got one of the 21 P's that came back at a 69. And then I got three. One, two, one, two. No, oh, I only got two of the Denver at 70, and then I got one. At a 69. Let's look at something here. Let's look at look at the price difference of. Um, let's bring this one over for you to look at. This is the Denver, in a 69. These are sold comps, so it looks like 249. Um, one sold about four days ago, maybe. Um. Let me confirm this is sold comps. No, let me ring them up. So 179, 220, these are Denver's, but remember these are MS69's. There are some early releases here. This one here happens to be a first strike Denver at a 69. Sold for 135, you auctioned it off. I think those numbers are crazy. Let's bring over, um, let's bring over this one. Let's change the search to a 70. And let's change this to a Denver. So 
So we'll search that and then we'll go down and go to the sold. So these are sold comps. Look at these numbers on the Denver. None of the other ones did this. This one sold August 30th today, $890. It is a 70. It's crazy. 995, 70. It is the 100th anniversary. This exact coin that I have right here. It's just crazy numbers. If you can get a hold of a Denver um, Morgan and get them submitted, definitely look the coin over, but get them submitted and get them back in a perfect coin. They are worth a lot of money. Look at this one sold today. It was a bin. Buy it now. Plus $10 shipping for $1,095. This is a rare PSS label. I don't understand what that is. Oh, they're not going to let us see it. Let's go look at original listing. I don't know what a PSS label is. But, so, make sure that, um, if well, for one thing, if you can get a hold of a Denver 21 Morgan, get it out there submitted, uh, you can make some pretty good money on those. I've never sold a coin on eBay myself. I've only sold in the coin community. So I don't know what's going to happen with these. This one right here probably is a break-even coin. Um, I don't know what these are. I did not. I was kind of thrown off on this. PCGS MS70s. Let me look at that. Peace Dollar MS70. Let me look at that real quick. Give me one more minute and I'll close out this video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. And uh, make sure you leave a comment so I can find your channel um, in the future. We'll do an MS70 on the peace dollar. We're going to go to eBay. I'll show you the comps on this one. We're going to go down to sold sold items um oh not set that's all right i'm going to show you this before we get out of here so 3.99 um except that's got the gold label let's let me see if i can find one here well it looks like these are much better it looks like about 350 dollars i could get for one of these at a hundredth anniversary label. So, but see, we're somebody selling one right here, a peace dollar, first strike. Um, yeah, first strike. I have a couple of those for 418. So it looks like I can do about 350 on them. So, in reference to this submission, um, I think it went very well. I think I got three of the peace dollars. At a 70, which was very neat. One, two, and three. I ended up getting two of the Denver 21 at an MS70. Those are incredible. This is what I was after. This is what the whole submission was about. I did catch a 69, but that one probably will be sold for about what I have into it. Then I caught two 70s um, San Francisco Morgans. I didn't have any of those. I didn't have any Denver. I slept through that day. I got Phillies, I got the Peace Dollars, I got the CCs and the O's, but I missed the San Francisco and the Denver's. And then there's a Morgan Dollar 100th Anniversary to PCGS MS69. So overall, I think it was it was a good submission for me. I think I might be getting a little bit better at figuring stuff out. So make sure you like and subscribe if you want to uh, keep in touch with me. Make sure you comment on one of my videos and I will find you. And um, I will subscribe to your channel. Um, until I see you again, do something nice for somebody. Pay for it every chance you get. Let's be good people, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great rest of the week. Take care.